seven teams will make the postseason in the AFC and when this weekend concludes, the Miami Dolphins could move all the way up the eighth seed. For Miami, it is all about what happens on Monday night. They have to beat a very good defensive team and Miami own defense will need to keep Alvin Kamara in check. The Saints have been an up and down team but they have talent. They are not a team the Dolphins will be overlooking. Call it the Dolphins' next litmus test. The rest of the AFC this weekend is going to be interesting. Earlier today we looked at the Colts and the Browns who will play on Christmas Day. The Browns face the Packers in the early game while the Colts face the Cardinals in the late game. On Sunday, things get a lot more interesting. Of the bubble teams, that include the Ravens, Dolphins, Broncos, Raiders, Steelers, and Browns, the Ravens are the only team with eight wins. The rest of the teams all have seven wins while the Steelers have seven wins but only six losses thanks to a tie. The Ravens will be without Tyler Huntley who was placed on COVID injured reserve today. He is backing up Lamar Jackson who has been out for two weeks and may not be available for more than a backup role on Sunday. If the Ravens lose to the Bengals and the Browns lose to the Packers, the Bengals will have a clear path to the division and the Ravens will have a much lower shot at the wild card with the Dolphins potentially matching their eight wins. The Broncos will face the Raiders and Miami fans should be pulling for Denver because the tiebreaker, head-to-head, -head, with the Raiders favors Las Vegas. A win by the Broncos will drop the Raiders behind Miami leaving the Dolphins, Ravens, and Broncos tied with eight wins, assuming the Browns lose. Finally, the Steelers will face the surging Chiefs and with their 7-6-1 record, they are a half game ahead of the Dolphins. Come Monday night, the Dolphins could be sitting in the eighth seed, one game out of the playoffs with two weeks left. The two teams sitting in the 6th and 7th spots? The Chargers and Bills are holding on to a slim lead. The Bills own the tie-breaking head-to-head -head against the Dolphins and frankly, a tie with the Bills will immediately eliminate the Dolphins so the Bills need to win the division outright or lose two games. The Bills play New England while the Chargers play the Texans. Why Miami Dolphins fans need to become Bills fans on Sunday? The Miami Dolphins won't play until Monday night but on Sunday, their playoff hopes could hinge on whether or not the Bills can beat the Patriots. There are so many things that need to be in play for the Dolphins to eventually end up with one of the final two wildcard spots for this year's postseason. We outlined the way Miami can get into the eighth seed a short while ago. What we didn't really mention in depth was how this one game could impact the Dolphins' playoff chances. The Chargers and the Bills both hold the final two playoff spots right now. The Chargers will play the Texans this weekend are not likely going to lose that game. The face the Raiders and Broncos to round out their season and are not likely going to lose either of them. If the Chargers win out and they will be favored to do so, only one spot will be up for grabs and the Dolphins need to finish the season tied with the Patriots at worst. Currently the Patriots are 9-5 while the Bills are 8-6 and Miami of course, is 7-7. Miami could move up to 8-7 with a win against the Saints. If the Bills win they move to 9-6 and the Patriots fall to 9-6. The Bills' remaining schedule is a cakewalk. The Patriots are the toughest team they will face as they will wrap the year against the Falcons and Jets. In other words, the Bills are likely to walk into the playoffs even if they lose to the Patriots. With the Chargers likely walking in as well, the Bills need to take the division and put the Patriots competing for a wild card spot. The Patriots' remaining games are the Bills, Jaguars, and Dolphins. If the Patriots lose to the Bills it won't matter what happens against the Jaguars because the showdown in Miami Week 18 will decide which team will be eliminated. There are no guarantees that either team would face a win and you're in scenario but the loser won't advance in the tie-breaking scenarios with other teams because the first elimination comes from head-to-head -head division games. The Dolphins, with a win on the final weekend, would knock out the Patriots. Now you know who you need to root for in a big divisional game that could have a huge impact on what happens in two weeks.